Most of my videos to date have been about people in history, and mostly English history. I thought it would be nice to talk about Irish history, since I am Irish, starting from the beginning and progressing to present day. The first people to settle in Ireland came around 3500 BC during the Mesolithic Age or the Middle Stone Age. They most likely came from Scotland in canoes made from tree trunks and the first settlers did not look like Irish people today. In 2018, researchers analysed the DNA of an ancient man found in southwest England. He was nicknamed the Cheddar Man and his DNA showed that people who settled in England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland and the surrounding islands most likely had blue eyes, dark brown to black skin and dark curly hair. Pale skin is a genetic mutation that happened over many millennia in order to help the people who inhabited the lands absorb vitamin D more easily from the sun in the cloudy climate. During the Stone Age, all tools and weapons were made from stone, such as flint. These pieces of stone were then fixed to wooden shafts to form any tool they needed. Mesolithic people were hunter-gatherers, meaning they got their food from hunting, fishing and gathering berries and nuts. They would cook their meat over fire on a spit and wore animal furs. The bones of these animals were then used to make needles. During the early Stone Age, the people were nomadic and they didn't settle in one place for very long. They had temporary tents made from saplings, skins, reeds and turf. When Mesolithic people died, they were cremated and burned along with most of their treasured possessions. Neolithic people brought farming. New settlers arrived with new skills such as bread and pottery making. The people cleared patches of land to plant crops and to rear animals. They developed farming tools such as mattocks and ploughs to plough the land for crops like wheat and barley. They also domesticated animals. They still hunted and gathered, but with farming they didn't have to depend on hunting and gathering as their sole source of food. Using a saddle stone, they ground wheat into flour, able to make bread. Pots were made using clay found in the riverbeds and they used these pots to store food. With farming, the Neolithic people began to settle in one place, usually close to rivers for water. Their homes were permanent and with farming, the Neolithic people began to settle in one place, usually close to rivers for water. Their homes were permanent and made using wattle and daub. This is an ancient form of housemaking in which, using string, wood is woven together and covered with mud, dung, sand and straw, with a thatched roof on top. They also began to bury people in tombs. There were three main types of tombs. Passage tombs, court cairns, and portal dolmens. Passage tombs are graves that have a narrow passage with many chambers branching off. One famous passage tomb is in Noongrange which is older than the pyramids in Egypt. Court cairns have a space in the front which is open and a chamber that is enclosed by stones. Portal dolmens are tombs one large stone covers two or more standing stones. Following the Neolithic period, the Bronze Age brought the use of bronze to Ireland. The Bronze Age in Ireland began around 2000 BC. Bronze was stronger than stone and was easier to craft. People mixed copper and tin together and began to smelt it at high temperatures, which formed bronze. Bronze began to replace stone, and new items such as cauldrons, horns and jewellery were made using bronze. The Bronze Age people began to grind corn into flour to make bread using querns. They also used pots for cooking. A new invention for cooking was also developed during this time, known as a fulukfia. A fulukfia is essentially a Bronze Age oven. A pit was dug in the ground and it was lined with stone. Water was then poured into the pit and stones were then heated over a fire. 
Once they were heated enough, the stones were then lowered into the pot and which helped to boil the water. Meat was wrapped in straw and placed in the boiling water until cooked. In this period, houses became bigger and more circular and were enclosed behind fences, embankments and ditches. This meant that their homes more easily defended from animals or neighbouring villages. Wedge tombs, which were smaller versions of portal dolmens, and cis graves, which were small grave sites, were developed during this period. The Iron Age in Ireland began around 500 BC. The Celts arrived from Central Europe and they brought their culture, language, religion and ironwork with them. Iron was stronger than bronze and the Celtic culture pretty much took over. The country soon became divided into many kingdoms known as Tuas, ruled by a king or a Ri. Under the Ri were warriors and nobles known as the Ostana. Then came farmers and labourers. The Ostana were those who had special skills, such as Brehans or judges, Druids who were priests, Philly who were poets, doctors, musicians and bards, and craftspeople. Conflict was common and houses became fortified during this period. Two main types of houses popped up. Cranogues were man-made islands with wood driven down into the bed of a lake and a platform with a house built on top. They could only be reached by bridge or boat and over 1,200 Cranogue sites have been found in Ireland to date. Another form of house, known as a ring fort, was built during this time. They were circular, surrounded by a ditch and a fence. Underneath were underground passages for food or for safety. There have been over 40,000 ring forts found in Ireland to date. Wattle and Dob was still used to insulate the houses. During this period, when a person died, they were cremated and buried in pits or cis graves, along with their valuables. And people would also mark the grave with an oum stone. These stones were the earliest form of writing in Ireland. The Iron Age lasted until 400 AD, when Christianity arrived in Ireland.